try to stay a kid as long as possible. I love that when I feel like a kid, but you know, when you are a kid, you kind of want to be an adult. This is Jack Griffo in Making a Portrait. My mom is the most incredible person. She got me so many things to elevate my talents. And you know, I did dance lessons and I did piano lessons and music and stuff like that. And I just remember like it was, yes like it was yesterday, you know, like I had this playroom and, and the stage and I had my costumes and I had a karaoke machine and I was that kid, you know, but I also liked sports as well. You know, that's why High School Musical was so big for me growing up like I just love that movie because it's like Troy gets it you know like theater and basketball like it was just the coolest thing ever that movie changed everything for me that movie made me feel so confident it's because these are the people that actually make something of themselves the people that express themselves and not suppress themselves you know I grew up in Orlando and it was super um, centered around athletics, sports, and it was not the norm to just be into, in, into theater and stuff like that. My older brothers were theater majors in college and went to a big theater magnet program in high school. And so instead of kind of doing the normal, you know, going to football games and basketball games at that young age, I was going to like Footloose and, you know, just falling in love with this whole scene and, and and I loved being on stage. Like I just loved, I don't know, the live aspect, getting real reactions to people in a room. My original plan when I was that age was to go to New York, like my older brothers, major in theater or something in the arts up there and try to make it out there. And then in Orlando, I was like 12, 13, and I started doing like film and TV classes. And I still had the plan to go to New York you know, but I started doing that and they were just LA, LA, LA. So when I moved out here, I was 13, I mostly just done stage stuff. And I took like cl like film classes, like film and cl like uh, TV classes with like scene work and stuff like that from 13, 14, 15. And then I got the Thundermans when I was 16. Like it was almost like everything was like coming to that, that show. And everything I did in Florida and out here for the three years before I got the show was just like preparing me for it. So it was a lot of work. It's the dream. Working on Paramount as a 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 year old kid, because it went that long. And it was like my whole high school career. I just had an amazing like teenage life out here. Like I loved it. You know, I missed my friends back home. And I, I still keep in touch with them, like I still talk to them today and I feel like that has been a credit to a lot of my normalcy. I feel like when people come out here at a really young age, kids like, you're so um, easily influenced at that age that you, you see things out here and you're like, oh that's normal. You know, I'm glad that I had my childhood in Florida till I was, up till I was 13 because I feel like I had a, a sense of normalcy. Of like, oh that's normal behavior, like, oh like that's not. One of the struggles that I had was, it sounds kind of cliche, but trying to be a normal kid while I'm on this show. And I wanted to have fun. Like any 16, 17, 18 year old kid, like I wanted to have fun with my friends and I dropped the ball on something. It was season four of the Thundermans. There was one time that I'll never forget and I woke up and on Mondays we do table reads where the whole network and the producers and the writers is there. And I didn't show up because I was just too messed up from the night before. I, got, I, I woke up and I remember looking at my phone to like read the script and I couldn't read it. It was a rock bottom moment because it makes you think of all the work that you've done to get here and that you threw this morning away more than just a morning like this is something that the network will not forget and i loved table reads like that was the thing it wasn't something that like it was a job and i was like oh i have to go do this and it's like i was like i can't i can't do this now and it made me rethink a lot about partying and you know 
priorities and the fact that I wasn't there hurt the show. And that's what I had to get to, you know, in, in the week when I was going back. Because I, I came the next day, but I, you know, and I was rationalizing with myself, oh, it's fine, you know, but it wasn't. I think myself, like a lot of kids, are like super in rush to grow up and want everything like sooner than they're supposed to get it. And that was definitely me. Like I wanted to travel and do my own thing and be independent. And um, I think I would just tell myself to not rush and enjoy this time because it's so hard as a kid to like wrap your head around that when someone says, you know, live it up now. But like, that's what I would tell myself, you know? Um, try to stay a kid as long as possible. Um, because nowadays, I, I love that when I feel like a kid, but you know, when you are a kid, you kinda wanna be an adult. We're so focused on our happiness and, our, and living our best life, and I feel like if you ask you know, a 50, 60, 70 year old, like, are they happy? I feel like a lot of them would be like, what do you mean? Because it's not about happiness for them. It's about like, okay, did they do A, B, and C? Like, did they provide for their family? And it's just like, I feel like the way the world is going with these generations, these younger kids is, no, it is really about you and it is about your fulfillment and, and your happiness. And that is the most important thing. As humans, like we don't want to experience trauma. Vulnerability is definitely something as an actor, as an artist in general, like that's how, that's how you relate to people, you know, because it's all pain. And I think what you do with the hand you're dealt is what makes your life. And if, you know, if you can do something with your pain and turn it into art, do something with your joy, turn it into art, you won. And you have a legacy, you know, you leave something behind.